What's up, fight fans and thrill seekers? Welcome to another electrifying episode of Cage Crafters, the ultimate arena where the intensity never fades and every punch counts. I'm your host, Dawn, and today, we're gearing up to dissect one of the most anticipated clashes in combat sports history. Hold on tight, because this breakdown is going to be a wild ride. Evander Holyfield has shocked the public with his recent statement regarding Mike Tyson before his professional fight against Jake Paul. On July 20, Tyson will make his comeback in the ring as he faces Paul in a match that has received approval from the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulations TDLR, marking a significant change in direction. The Tyson vs. Paul Bout is scheduled to be held at AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas, and extravagant VIP ticket packages worth $2 million have been offered to fans. During their recent media tour, the two fighters engaged in a face-off, leading fans to believe that the outcome of the contest has already been determined. Hollyfield, renowned for his legendary career and intense rivalry with Tyson, holds a contrasting viewpoint on the matter. He believes that the final result hinges on Paul's performance and even went as far as implying that the ex-world heavyweight champion might contemplate throwing in the towel during the bout. When questioned about his forecast, Hollyfield responded, I don't know, it all depends on how Jake fights. The point of the matter is whether Jake Paul takes a good shot. I have never seen him get hit by anybody. But you never know, Mike might just quit in the ring and sit down and say, I'm done. Tyson's last professional fight was in June 2005, resulting in a defeat to Kevin McBride from Ireland. However, he made a comeback by facing Roy Jones Jr. in an exhibition match in November 2020, despite being 58 years old when he steps into the ring against the 27-year-old. Tyson has been showcasing his exceptional physical condition on social media, displaying his renowned hand speed and power. In contrast, Paul secured a victory against Ryan Berland in his most recent fight, enhancing his professional record to 9-1. Until next time, folks, please share your thoughts on the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Cage Crafters for more riveting content on the world of combat sports. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more updates.